Welcome back to my channel, YouTube. Today, we are doing an unboxing. So there's an interesting development going on here. I got a 3D printer. I'm just gonna say it out flat. It's a 3D printer. The Cradley 3D and their 3 Pro. For 200 bucks was I would say the best deal I could find. So I've been working on this project here, and as you can see, it's very crude still, but it is it is a servo motor connected to a gearbox that moves a heart up and down. And this is just a project that I've been working on for a gift that I was trying to do for my girlfriend. I'm not a wielding man. I am a man of science. Okay, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not that good with my hands, all right? As you can see, obviously, look at this. Hot glue mess, plastic just torn everywhere. The 3D printer was the best option that I had for making things like this without going to Home Depot and buying all these raw materials that I didn't have the tools half the time to do whatever I wanted with them. So I thought that the 3D printer was going to be such an incredible upgrade. So anyways, here we go to the unboxing. What we're here for, got my trusty, trusty knife. All right, guys, moment of truth here. All right, wow. So, little slit here, okay, very exciting. Oh, so here we have um, instructions, not in English. Uh, okay, so there we go, English. Thanks for your order, thanks for your support, thanks for your chance to get your advice. Growth Tree 3 is one well no, it's one well no company and specializing in R&D manufacturing and sales of 3D printer. Our printers are sold all over the world and get a high praise from customers. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll dig it. Now we have here, a sheet of instructions which I will definitely need because it's all in pieces it's a DIY 3d printer you have to build it your own yourself here we have a nicely magnetic padded pad all right I've heard about these and they are emotional and where they want to be okay which I, which I can deal with I can deal with that. All right, so here to the side, it looks like we have the digital display, circuit board showing, of course. So nice, nice. Um, I know there was a fix to the circuit board being exposed in the back, so I will totally be doing that with such printer, said printer. Now here we have um, some parts to put this thing together, so I'm sure I'll find out what that is pretty soon. All right, here we go. All right, this looks like the power module. So fancy. I'm already getting my fingerprints all over it, but just look at this. It's clean. Maybe I'm just fanning out by the fact that I have a 3D printer now, but it's pretty. I like it. Now, how do we lift this part? It looks like it all wants to come out. So, should I just let it come out? All right, we got some motors here. I'm sure I'll find out how to put that in. Oh look, a little switch, a little stop switch. I like it. Now the base plate right here. Um, it's probably the heaviest component out of all of them. And it's the one that's mostly dug in. So with, as it should be, you know. Here we have some QA markings. It says okay. So that means that this must be okay. Somebody must have had to literally look at this and then throw on the sticker of approval. Okay. I can dig it. All right, so here we have base plate and extruder. So, I new words to me, extruder, all right? I, not, it's not like I say this all the time, but that's what this is, the extruder. Now in the bottom tier, we have uh, power cable, more, Parts to the printer, spatula, 
we have ourselves here a component of some sort. Oh look, we have uh, some PLC, cable, more parts, looks like some couplers. I'm sure it all, I'm sure it'll all come, it'll all make sense once I start putting this together. And we have ourselves another motor, so that will be the third motor that I see in this printer so far. No, fourth motor. So wow, we got ourselves uh, an intricate, complex machine here, okay? For 200 bucks, I mean, can you believe that? 200 bucks? Ender 3 Pro, 200 bucks. What a time to be alive. More parts, more parts, and I barely, barely know what I'm looking at. So I'm sure when I do this setup video, a lot of people, a lot of other people will also be intrigued on how to put this together. More, um, here we have some tools and more parts. And then that is it. All right, so there we have it. The Ender 3 Pro in all its guts and glory. I just wanna applaud myself and this channel. We've made it this far and I am very proud of it. A year ago, I would have never thought that I would have been making a channel about educational things. I am very excited to see where my channel is going next. Creativity was never the limiting factor here. It was always the material things. But with my ideas being just a print away, the possibilities are literally limitless. And this makes me extremely happy and exciting to see what's coming up. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. I will be making a video about the assembly portion of this. So you guys just stay tuned. It's coming up and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.